last live before Christmas. <laughs> um, yes. So some scrappy wonderment today. I've put on my very elfiest best for you today. So I hope you are feeling festive. I hope that um, everything is going well for you and that if, if anything is thrown a spanner into your Christmas works that you are being able to roll with the punches and chill about it as best you can. And if you're stuck in isolation or something for Christmas, then let's let's scrapbook our way out of that because I'm, I'm here for you. Let's scrapbook. Okay, so today um, I do have a bit more content that's going to go out before the end of this kit, so it's not the end of this kit. We're getting there, but it's not there yet. But it is the last live before Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go um, over here and have a look at everything we've made so far. So this was our joint effort on Monday, which was a project directed and completed by WB with me with just a few panics along the way. Might have needed a vast quantity of, of chill after that life, but you know, it's there and we made it through. And I will say that his color choices here, this whole idea, um, yeah, I've all, all elf hats off to the tiny elf. That was excellent. And um, also this is his, his choice of, I want to make the, the elf lettering a little elfish. So the, the F is, um, is jumping. And in case you were curious, because he wrote, soon I would like to watch Elf. We have. We have indeed had this year's viewing of Elf. Good to go. Right, so other things we've made with the December kit. I need to have a little session of adding all my journaling in. I normally do it as we go, but December, you know, all bets are off on things. And I've been doing a lot of journaling in my journal. And not got the journaling on these 12 by 12s, but I will. So we had trees, we had ornaments and mice. This page makes me so happy. I can't even begin to tell you how happy it makes me. Maybe a dead tiny little thing. He's so happy. And here he is all grown up. Okay, so then we had all the tags. And we had this one with the starburst. And we started here with snowflakes and stenciling and smooshing and Olaf and Anna. And today I'm actually returning to this sort of idea. Yes. Okay. Um, I've just realized I haven't checked to make sure that we've got sound and we're still playing. Yes, it looks like everything's everything's still working. If you joined and you were like, why did the end screen start for ages. Um, I'm trying something new in that I found out recently, I think I knew and then I kind of forgot about trying to figure it out. And um, for some reason, when you watch on the replay, you lose the very beginning. And so like the welcome and the, the title sequence was disappearing from a lot of the streams if you watched on replay. So I tried today just leaving what's actually the closing screen um, on at the beginning for about a minute and a half um, to see if it will just cut that instead. And if that works today, then I'll make a new screen that says like, we're coming up to it. That'll be a starting screen instead of an ending screen. So sorry if that was confusing, but I'm just trying to figure out how that works. Right. So I am going back to the day that we were dressed like this, but I have different photos. I've just realized there's a printing flaw on there, so I might redo this. Um, but this was us at the frozen tree display, same outfits. But I wanted to do one kind of snowy layout with the December kit. And um, yeah, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have snow. So I actually did that um, thing in my photo library where I just searched snow. And it reminded me that it's been a long time since I had any snow photos, but I did have these. <laughs> and so I was like, well, I scrapbook the ones with the lights, um, but not, not the ones with the trees. So I have these big, and then this will be, I guess, a facing page um, or back to back. So they're both from the same day. But I like both sets of pictures and the backgrounds are different. So even though it's the same day and the same outfits, I'm gonna scrap both. Cool. Right. Also, 
Today is the day. I'm going to use that al alpine alpine ski wear um, pattern paper. And I pulled it out. Where did I put it? Oh no. The things I do right before we go live. And I think, okay, have this all planned out. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So this is it. This is going to be in today's layout. Um, now, it's funny, because when I cover it up like that, I'm like, oh, there's so much green. Why would I want that particular combination? But when we look at it with this side, then yes. So don't worry. I'm also going to freak you out a little bit today with what I'm going to do to that paper, because I bet loads of you are like, that's going to be a full background. And it's not. And not only am I going to make it smaller, I might rip it up a bit. <laughs> so... Here we go with the sketch, so that I can at least prepare you for the fear. Okay, so I've got two three by fours. They're gonna go, oh, can I draw a box first of all? Hey, okay. So the two photos are gonna come up here. That's way smaller than it really is. Let's, let's try to get the ratio a little bit accurate. So that's a photo. Um, this messiness is okay because I was thinking I would put a paper sack behind them. So this is a layered mat behind two three by four photos. I know they don't look the same size. There. <laughs> okay. Yes? No. There's going to be a piece of paper in the form of that alpine knitwear. <laughs> And then guess what's going to happen to it? I'm going to rip it. I'm going to rip it. Like, obviously and scarily. And I'm, I'm excited already. Okay. But then, uh, title's going to come in here. Journaling's going to come in here. And then there's going to be embellishment that's going to go here. I don't know why I'm doing sunshines, but... You know, it seems to have become my shorthand for embellishment. Um, there's going to be some paper. I think maybe a paper strip or something down here. Maybe a paper strip up here. If there's room, there might not be behind all the layers. But, yeah. Um, so we're going to have embellishment there, embellishment there. I think I can fit some embellishment in here with the title. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be a little... A little random. It's not going to be super organized. It's going to be a little random. Then, let me do this in another color so that it can make some sense. Have I got like a pastel or something in here? Or like a pale marker? I don't have a pale marker. I can do it in yellow. It won't be yellow in the layout, but I can do it in yellow. So, there's going to be ink smooshiness behind here. And then also behind here, like fading. And then I think it needs to come down here too. So there's gonna be like three areas of ink. And here's what I'm thinking is that then I can use that ink spot to take it from this color scheme of blue, of aqua blue and green and add in that pinkiness. What do we call that? the rose, um, that makes it more obviously the color scheme from Frozen. Are you with me? Does that make sense? I've lost where your chat is. Yes. Okay. So, here we go. If, if you want this sketch, I think that sketch takes explanation. Do I need to, like, notate that... That's ink. Oh, I hope this uses pen. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. If you want to screen cap that, there you go. I'm not sure how, how useful it is, but that's it. Right, so I'm going to start with foundations cardstock because that way I can make it wet and inky and messy and not cry about it. <laughs> so we need to achieve that. And then, and then, we need to figure out what ink. 
So, I want to, that's just for those of you who can't stand it if I leave the copy. Um, right. Next thing, I'm going to choose the ink, but I'm also going to figure out where do I want this to cut off. So straight cut at the bottom, torn cut, or torn here. But do I want to bring it all the way up here and have the white against the white? I feel like it needs to start more with the blue. Okay, but maybe just above. All right, I got all my snowflake punches out. There should be like a timer. You know how they have those workplace signs that say like, it has been zero days since our last workplace incident. Do you know what I mean? It has been zero days since Shamel put rubbish on her trimmer so she can't get to it. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? I want the white on this side, which is that way. All right, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna have that. Yes, yes. These up here. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting excited about this. <laughs> Hello, Jocelyn! Hello to Elaine and Sandra and Laura and Nancy and Sarah. Yeah. Do, do, do. Happy Christmas. Elaine says, technically, in Manchester, there was a white Christmas last year because they got a tiny bit of snow for about 10 minutes. Amazing. Um, and Jocelyn's off now to make some mince pies for Father Christmas. Do you know, there was mince pie shredded wheat cereal this year. I took a picture of it. I didn't buy it, but I took a picture of it and put it in my Christmas journal because the cereal aisle made me laugh this year. Right. How do I transition into that pink? So I've got lots of other pinks. I've got light pinks. Oh my goodness, Tim Holtz, have you not actually made like an Anna kind of pink? Is this a thing or is there an Anna kind of pink that I'm missing? Oh, I had never considered this as a color that I was missing. I mean, it's because all my energy goes toward peach, so, hmm. Okay, in case I need some orange to bring out the carrot, I've got spice marmalade but like we jump from oh goodness oh, made a mess of my desk okay so we have I mean do you see what I mean though like is there a color that I'm not thinking of that I don't own and I have somehow missed but this like festive berries is like just a pink toned red that's not it no. Hello, Denise. Oh my goodness, Denise is awake in Alaska. Mm. Okay, so tumble gloss works. I kind of don't want to go as hot pink as that would come out. I don't think picked raspberry is the one. I think this might be it. What do you think? What do you think? Um. <laughs> Elaine says she's surprised that there wasn't. Shredded wheat that was pigs in a blanket flavored. There's definitely a lot of crisps that are pigs in a blanket flavored. That did make me laugh. Okay. So. Yeah. Start with the two light ones and then add little highlights of the flamingo. I think that's my strategy. Okay. Step one. Better cover up Maleficent. I don't want her getting angry at me. I have a Christmas present for her. Elaine says try seedless preserves. Let's have a look. I think seedless preserves too. Too purpley? But I'll have a look. I'll divide that in here. Put my mat on my messy. Let's give it a quick clean. I 
can say put away, you know. What I mean is put it down the side of my desk. Right. Oh, by the way, guess what I've got today? You know that button I kept pushing in there was like, why have I not taken that button off? I didn't take it off, but I did update it today. So while I clean my mat, I can have a look at that. type people, which I'm not, um, you know, they started all their Christmas content way back right at the end of Thanksgiving or even earlier, and um, now they're all posting things like, right, that's it for me for Christmas content, bye-bye, <laughs> and I haven't posted any of my Christmas content on Instagram, and I'm going to post that one today after I finish sending a bunch of stuff um, out to classes, because I do a lot of Christmas content, but it's going to class members. So I don't want to share the stuff out like that's my last priority. But after I have I have my little to-do list for today, and after I do that, I'm gonna put that one on Instagram to show my uh, my journal from last year. And then I have all these pictures lined up to share after that. Well, you know, when Christmas is tomorrow. <laughs> but I truly believe in the whole 12 days of Christmas. Enjoy the gap between Christmas and New Year. Um, and a little bit after that. And so I'm going to keep it all, all going. I'm just starting now. So, you know. <laughs> anyway. Right. Hello there. My elf has just come to visit. You want to say hello? Okay, bring your chair over here and I'll, I'll make it so that you can say hello. Because we finished the puzzles. <gasps> you finished some wrapping? Here we go. We can be elves together. You ready? Look up there. Yay! Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Yes. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do some inking. You want to help me with that? Ooh, I love inking. <laughs> okay. So what I'm thinking... Also, that thing is cool. What thing is cool? How you can just... I thought you could only do it down there. Oh, no, you I've upgraded. You remember how I was like, it's taken... You kept saying, why are you not live yet? And I said, I'm trying to figure out all my new cables and switches and stuff. Yeah, I... I Improved. Oh, so what's improved the cut? Improved setup. What's the cut? Oh, that's to go from when I go from camera one to camera two. How does it do it? Yeah. So you can do like cut. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Okay. I can even learn. Maybe for next time, I'll learn how to put our faces up there in the corner. Yeah. Because I don't mm -hmm. quite know how to do it. I could try to push the button, but I don't know what would happen. Push it. Push it. Push, push it. the button. Push it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, oh, that's uh, what happened. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at us. We're so technologically advanced. But, yeah. Um, I don't know that, it, that that's exciting because I'm just going to be looking down. So I think I'll turn it off for now, but now we know it's there. We can turn it on another time. Yeah? <laughs> but they can still have okay. us there. Yeah. We could just be there. Okay. Inking. So I need this color first, I think. And I'm you should put up that camera there. I do. I think. Um, I think after Christmas, I might play around with moving cameras into spots. Yep. 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 And you might get new things. Originally, face cam was going to be on the other side of the desk, um, and you can tell from the opening sequence because in the opening sequence, you can see the trees outside in the first place that I had put, um, where I I put the desk cam, or the face cam. Sorry, and. Um, 
But then I realized that when it's really bright, that wasn't working. Um, plus the mini blinds there, if I have to close the blinds in the sun, they're not very cute. So I changed it to this side, but um, I might I might do some messing about with it. I think you should put it there. Okay, so what I'm starting with is just nice blendy with my palest color, which is spun sugar. Can I do that? You can. Hold on. I'm gonna get you it can started. See There's it. gonna be some booping too, so do you wanna wanna wait until we do booping? Or you wanna do some blending too? Oh, I'm gonna blending or some booping. Okay. So the next place I need spiced marmalade is down here. I know. I don't I've never tried marmalade. You have? What Paddington likes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get this one started and then you can do this one. So I want this kind of curve here. Like a little smile. Uh-huh. And then I want it filled in. <laughs> okay. You made it and then you disintegrated it. Disintegrated it? Go on then. Are you going to do it? Oh my goodness, Laura says she's got people on her feed sharing Valentine's stuff already. No, 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 no. No, not Valentine's content yet. No, not ready for that. When's Valentine? The 14th of February. That's a long, 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 long one. You said it, kiddo. It's right before Daddy's birthday. Oh, that's not a long one. It is. Didn't we only just have a birthday for Daddy? No, we didn't. <laughs> I had a birthday for Daddy like 16 years ago. Oh, 16 years ago. He hasn't had a birthday in 16 years? I think he deserves a big party then if, if he oh, hasn't had one in 16 years. Oh, we've had years. many okay. past that. Okay. Right, then we're going to blend in a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo. Now this one's darker, more saturated, so I don't want so much. Are you listening, my fellow blender here? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to start where it's covered up, and I'm going to blend it out. There's something annoying with this. <gasps> There's something annoying? What? Oh, the print error on your face. Yes. I know. I spotted it right when I went live, and I told them I might need to reprint later. Good. Yeah. Cause I, I don't can't like reprint it. while we're live because I print from the same device that I'm filming from. It, lo it looks like I've got poo on my eye. <laughs> oh, bird poo because it's white. There's a bit where the ink just didn't come out, so... It I guess like it looks a, white. It looks like <laughs> my that. it looks like I've got tears coming out from the top of my eyes that are blood poop. Oh no. Do you want to do this bit right here? Don't make it go all the way out to the pale pink. No 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 right, right here. Soft, soft, soft. Blend out. Oh. Okay, can you blend that out? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Hi Janice in Florida. Jan Hello, Janice. And hello, Elena and Sophia. Yep. Sophia's got like an international lunch going on. I like it. Okay. Right. So, as with all, all the best oxide blends. What just made a noise? Something made a noise, and I don't know what it was. It anyway. Might have been nothing. Um. It might have just been the the light falling over a little bit. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, all the best. Oxide blends. You go back and you add more. That's what I'm going to do. Careful not to knock the desk, please. More. Yes. I went more. Yeah. No. That's a meme. Yes, it is. It's a cat meme. A cat meme. When the, there's a cat at the top, he says, want more. No. And then at the bottom, it's no. Oh, my. I don't think I've ever done it in such a grumpy, growly kind of way. Oh, he's like, no! I, 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 I do often sing it like Ariel. She has thingamabobs, but she wants more. More. Yeah. More. It's like me looking more. at my stash. Okay, so those are softer Sing now. Sing more, sing more, 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 more. Okay, now, booby time. Da 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 booby time. Or, do 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 booby time. Boop and tap, boop and tap, do 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 boop and tap. That's 
kill Evan and Caitlin. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do it like no. what I did. What do you mean, like what you did? In the last episode. Oh, n- not quite. A little different. Same stencil, though. Um, tumble glass. I loved yesterday's. I know I've got you out here. Where are you? Is this you? Is this you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have you out here. <laughs> Hello, Mel. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is go to these spots and boop a bit of tumble glass. Tumble glass. Tumble glass. Yes. Oh, the sun has decided to come out. I might need to close the curtains after all. Oh, close the curtains. Can I do it, please? Yeah, in just a moment. I want to make sure the first one works. Also, you didn't tape it down. No, I didn't. I can tape it for you if you like. Good. Okay, big reveal. Hey, yes, we like? We like. We like, okay. So we're going to do one here. But what I don't want to do is have it turn into this grid. I want, do you see how it's become like a circle and I fade it out toward the edge? Do you see where it's, ar- where it's already blue on the stencil from where yeah. I did? So that's where, where we want to be. Yeah. We don't want it to become side, side, Yeah, side, I don't want to catch any of those straight lines at the sides. But that was really pretty how that came out. Okay. I know, it was really pretty. It was really pretty. Pretty. Okay. Give me a second to close the curtain so that they'll be able to see you booping. You might see like little flickers of light, that's the annoying thing. That's okay, we don't catch it. Alright. They're gonna move in the video. Hello Mel! Yes! Get those cookies and milk out for Santa and have a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you on the other side. Remember? Bouncing. That kind of booping. Cassie's here! Hello, Cassie! The same one that made a wreath for you. Yes. Then, hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. We learned how to do something new. So, look at us. Okay. So, WB, booping, some snowflakes. Oh, oh, you're moving us to other sides. Oh, my goodness. All right, carry on. Yeah. Okay. Watch your booping. Oh, are we? Oh, that, that's the live feed, so it's delayed. Here we are. Hi. There you go. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? That's the live feed, so it's delayed. Anyway. Hello, Cassie. Um, yes, have a wonderful Christmas, Mel. WB got a Christmas card all the way from New Zealand today. That was very exciting. For my friend. Yeah. She used to live around the corner, but in lockdown, her family uh, moved all the way to New Zealand. Got it? All right. Let's do a big reveal. Can I do both of the next ones? It does look lovely. Okay, so you can do the last one, but the trick for the last one is that it needs to be quite small. So what maybe like that? Yeah, one just there. that one there, and it's gonna go off the bottom edge. Careful not to get that top edge. Come down to the bottom. Down to the bottom, down to the bottom. There we go. I'm not trying to get the top edge. Okay. I think that looks good. Okay. Well then, well then. Big glass review. Okay. We'll do the big glass review. Big glass review. Yay. So here is our background, all blended and booped and ready to go. And this is going to go across there. But you can't see much. Well, Mr. Critical, it's okay. 
What I'm thinking is, I might tear that top bit too. Yeah? Why not? No. no. Oh, he says no. Keep it straight? Yeah. Okay, so these are going to go up there. What if I just cut it down a little bit? Don't cut into those bits. Okay, don't cut into the mountains. I feel like it looks a good bottle. Okay. By the way, guys, we don't have a plan. We do have a plan. I have a massive plan, mister. Say what you want, but I got a plan, dude. We okay, don't I'm have a full plan. I do. But we're going to add more of a plan, and we don't know what we're going to add more for. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top edge, and I'm going to make it pink. Mm -hmm. Can I do some? Oh, it's just a little job here, so I think, let me do this one. Can I do the other? You'll have some other, no, I'm not doing other sides, but you will have some more jobs, don't worry. Just, I like doing the sides. Okay, well, when I, I will have paper stacks to ink, so just hang tight, just hang tight. So. Good night. <laughs> good night. Hang tight, good night. So I'm going to take the corner and... advertising from the 80s and when you say ho 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 and you're trying to be Santa part of your head goes green giant ho 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 green giant yes ho 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 because you know the giant. people who make like um sweet corn in a tin yeah yeah and on the packaging there's a there's a green giant in a cornfield yeah yeah so they had adverts, and I don't know if they still have these adverts, but when I was a kid, they had a jingle or whatever, a tag and that went, oh, oh, oh. A stinger on their adverts that went, oh, 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 green giant. I swear it's them. If it's not, my brain has made it green giant, and that's hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. green giant. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm turning the blue and white paper into blue and pink and white paper, and I'm quite happy about that decision because this is pretty. My lipstick isn't completely perfect to me. <gasps> Why? Because my eyes hmm. keep seeing the dots on them that aren't real. Oh. My eyes sometimes have tiny marks on them. Oh. Just random little things like blue, blue little dots. Did you look at a light bulb? Don't look at light bulbs. I just look at your light bulb. Yeah. I've done a million times. Yes, you shouldn't. You only get one set of eyes. Ask your mother. Do they ever heal themselves? No. No, they don't. Is that why you have glasses? Ah. But most of the time, the desk is I didn't grow out of my glasses, I tell you that. Okay. You never and did. We got pink. You never did, because you're still wearing glasses at this minute. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Green giant. It wasn't covering that much. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Oh, ho, oh, ho, ho. oh. All this talk about someone else's adverts has made the, has made Elaine remember that I haven't done something very important. Your advertisement speech. Hi. My name's Shamel. That's WB. My name's Shamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means anytime I scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising. Even if I bring him along, apparently. Um, so, <laughs> I um, always thank you for watching my hashtag advertising. I have to make sure that you're aware of that, and I thank you very, very much. Sorry this speech is a little late today because I forgot. Um, I was just excited about Christmas things. But if you ever have any questions about how any of that works, you can ask in the live chat, in the comments later. You can send me a message. Happy to talk about it at all times. 
Um, also, you can find all the links you need and the descriptions you need in the box below the video today. It'll have a few different links. It'll have the link to this kit, which is called December Best of Both Worlds Kit, and it'll have the link to what I'll be using next month, which is called the January Best of Both Worlds Kit. It also has a whole big description of what this whole Best of Both Worlds Kit thing means. It's it's not a kit that um, you subscribe to. It's not something where you have to get all of the items. It is a shopping list that you can build a kit either from the store or from your stash to follow along with me as much or as little as you want. And you can swap out stuff, but it's all described in the box. You'll also find a link to the two Christmas classes I teach, Journey Your Christmas, that's a crafty one, Share Your Christmas, that's a photo one. And both of those, you sign up once and then you get to participate as many Christmases as you want and there's a whole library of stuff and Share Your Christmas is numerous, the library is still growing um, and Journal Your Christmas has a library that goes way back. So there's always something to watch, always something to read, always something to get inspired by lots of other people who've shared what they make and you can sign up for them anytime. So if you're just like finishing up a Christmas scrapping project at the moment and you're wishing that you maybe had a bit more inspiration about what to write about or anything like that, then you can sign up now and you'd get it next Christmas. Or I mean, you'd get it now too. But if you, you know, just wanted to sign up in advance ready for next year, you can sign up anytime. So the descriptions are in the, or the links are in the description box. And I thank you very, very much for your support. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, that went a little longer than I meant, but now we're good. Okay. Okay. We are on camera too. It takes a minute to pick up. Okay. Right. Ho, ho, ho. And if you saw me elbow him, I, and he's made me a promise that he won't lean on Maleficent with his full body weight and pick his feet up off the chair. But I had to remind him. Yeah? Green giant. Do you remember now? Ho, ho, h Green giant. Oh my ho, goodness. Ho, ho. But I love that there are green others. Of, okay, enough. I love green that there are ho, others ho. that remember Green Giant. Green You're past giant. your limit now, Mr. So no more Green Giant songs. <laughs> okay. And I managed to do that crooked. Oh, oh, oh. Green and I straighten it up. Giant. Separate them. I'm going to trim the white borders closer to the photo and make a little paper stack with whatever bits and pieces I got left in the kit that will match. And that will be up here at the top right. Hey, do. Do you know, speaking of things that always make me think of something else in my head. What? I say hey dude to you quite often. Yes. When I was a kid, there was a TV show on Nickelodeon called and Hey Dude, which was like a teenage soap opera about kids who worked on a ranch. Um, yeah. What if you just covered me in that picture? I'm not going to cover you. I'll print another one. It's not a problem. All right, let's see what other paper I've got for, um, uh, and there's also that Dramatic. song, which was Hey Dude, Hey Girl, Superstar oh, DJ. That's not Hey Dude, that's Hey Boy, Hey uh, Girl, Superstar DJs. <laughs> Here we go. I, I, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. We are really running the gamut on things we can get stuck in people's heads today. <laughs> Cassie's got a message for you. She says, Psst, WB, I have a special viewer with me today. She is medium-sized and furry with four paws. She doesn't have a cat. She has a dog. dog. Addison's there. Hello, Addison. Okay. Hello, Susan. <coughs> Merry Christmas to you and ahem. You are not the director, sir. Um, yes. Merry Christmas to you, Susan. I hope it's a wonderful day. A wonderful day tomorrow, and and for as long as you want to carry on. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a wonderful festive time. I want us to have the little of the corner. Okay, well, you're just being cheeky at the moment, so. <laughs> Hold up. Let's see what we can paper stack here. So Let's many a papers! Bit bit of pink. Oh. A little bit of green. A little bit of green. Okay, so I'm going to 
Oh, no, hold on. I got a bit of the snowflake, too. I want that in there. Okay. Ah, Sarah watched Hey Dude. Hey Dude. I watched it. I think it was on before we had cable out where I grew up, but my grandparents had cable when I was younger, and so I think I remember watching Hey Dude when I would go to my grandparents after school some days. Because um, they lived further into town, so they had wonders like cable that we didn't have. I'm just looking in there, <laughs> looking in my Christmas jar. Right. Well, you can look over there. Let me let me scrap here for a bit, please. Okay. Thank you. Um. So we want to do this. Blue with snowflakes for sure. The black and white here. Some of this pink. I like that combination. And then maybe some little embellishments in that green toward the bottom here. I think it's gonna work. Okay. So. Am I? Oh my goodness, he's a giggle box today. Ah, oh, salute your shorts. It's because I sneakily. Yes, Sarah also oh, watched oh, oh. Salute Your it. Shorts, and I love Salute Your Shorts. Salute Your Shorts was similar age, but it was kids at summer camp, and I loved it because I was a kid who totally came out of my shell at summer camp. I was like a whole different person because I grew up in a really, really tiny town, a little farm town, and if you've ever lived in a really small town, you understand that... When you live in a small town, everyone knows everything about you all the time. Um, and so it's very hard to kind of move on from anything. And to the point where when I was 18 and I was graduating from high school, a bunch of people brought up things like memories from when I was five. And I was like, really? Like all the things that I have done since I was five, and that's what you remember. Great, lovely, wonderful, totally joyous. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to bring this darker color in too. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> when I went to summer camp, nobody there would know me. So I could just be the person that I was at that point in time and not have to be also the person that I was when I was five. <laughs> and for some reason, this was very freeing to my brain, to my, my, my spirit, my personality. I really, really loved going away to camp. <laughs> I went to a lot of nerdy camps too. I wasn't like outdoorsy camp. I was nerdy camp. So, you know, I went to debate camp. I went to writing camp. I went to space camp, obviously, for many years. Um, I went to cheerleading camp. <laughs> All these places. Ah, uh, joy, joy, joy. Okay. What else can I put behind this one? I think this brings in the red a bit too much. Oh, it's got a B side though. It could work. Here? Yes. Um, so yeah, Salute Your Shorts was excellent. And I remember, so, um, all that, which was like a kid's version of Saturday Night Live, to the point where Keenan and Kel were on all that, and then ended up on Saturday Night Live when they were grown-ups. Is he still on Saturday Night Live? I have no idea. We don't have Saturday Night Live here. Um, anyway. Uh, so, I'm trying to decide how much of the snowflake. Just a normal amount of snowflake. And then maybe this bit comes down here or something. Um, so I think all that was on by the time we had cable at my own house in the sticks. Which probably means that I was too old for it to be cool to watch that. But I totally did. It was funny. It was like a sketch comedy show with teenagers. Young teenagers. Sarah still wants to go to space camp, never got to go. You can still go. Um, at Huntsville, they, they, you, you're never too old for space camp, for serious. You can go to space camp at Huntsville at any age. And Keenan is still on Saturday Night Live. I love that you all know these things and you fill me in on popular culture. Thank you. So, yes. Keenan, Cal, Orange Soda, I'm here for it. So all that must
must have been the same era as new MMC, like new Mickey Mouse Club, which I was also too old for it to be cool for me to watch. But not only did I watch religiously, I auditioned and wanted to be on it so much. I remember making this video, like a self-tape with the family camcorder. <laughs> Okay, I don't want that one in the pink. Nope, I want it in the blue. I wasn't sure, so I just did one more. I want it in the blue. Okay. Which is fine. Where did I put my cloth? Here. Just gonna take whatever's excess off. I'm not worried that there's a bit of pink. It's fine. My blue blooper has gone where? Where did you roll off to? That's not blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cassie, whenever somebody says Keenan and Kel, <laughs> Cassie's brain automatically replies with, who loves orange soda? We all love orange soda. Aw, uh, yes. Yes, we do. And everybody who's not with that generation is like, I'm sorry, what? But yeah, if, if Cassie has it as a reaction, then you know I was too old to really be watching it because Cassie is younger than me, <laughs> considerably. <laughs> it's okay. She, she's all right with having a better than old lady. <laughs> now, let's stick. And little secret about when I need to reprint photos like this, I won't sometimes even take the old one off. Sometimes I just plonk the new one on the top, um, if that's easier. As if it's gonna make it difficult to, I don't know, to maneuver stuff. That's fine. Okay, and these definitely deserve some popping up. Um, Anything else from the, that stack of stuff that I want to tuck behind them? I have these. What have I got left from this? Oh, I've got a pink one. Let's definitely have the pink. This cut apart has done so much. I feel like this was one of the best things I've ever put on the kit list. We've used it like whole die cut back or something. Bruce, up your holiday, this one says. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, right down along. Oh, Stick Stickly! Sarah remembers Stick Stickly's jingle. Well, and, um, <laughs> annual viewing of Home Alone, and you're going through the the cousins and the siblings going, so how many of these are still like acting and stuff? What else have they been in? And um, one of them was Pete from Pete and Pete, The Adventures of Pete and Pete, which also had Michelle Trachtenberg, and another redheaded kid, um, and Artie the Strongest Man in the World, <laughs> which was like really short form kid programming. Um, and it was basically like if they're because Nickelodeon in the early days imported a lot of shows they didn't make their own and so some things weren't the right length of time for it to just be a half hour an hour because they'd have to put their adverts in so if they imported a show that was 30 minutes with no adverts and then they put their adverts in you'd get this like partial bit and so they then ended up commissioning these really odd length shows so you had these short adventures like Pete and Pete and I remember Pete and Pete wouldn't even be in the TV guide so you'd just be like, will I get to see Pete and Pete today? Like it was a, a treasure trove of random content. <laughs> Children today were like, I go to what I want and I stream it. <laughs> and we were like, this isn't even in the TV guide. I don't know how lucky they have it. <laughs> okay, this one down here, I think we're here. Pop. Pop it up, pop it up with Bobby. Pop it up, pop it up, do 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 do, pop it up. 
I think we gotta write our own song, dude. I don't wanna get a cease and desist from Evan and Caitlin. What's cease and desist? That's when somebody says, you've used my original content without permission or royalty payments. So you've gotta stop doing that. Cease and desist means don't do it anymore or there'll be trouble. Um, how do you do? How do I do what? A snowflake. Oh goodness. Paper. A paper snowflake. Yeah, so you've got a square, so you're good. So you want to keep going, keep folding with a center point here. You never want your outsides in. You just keep folding your center. I don't know. I'm not doing this right. But it'll work. It'll make something cool. So that's the center of your snowflake. That's the outside. You could do one more. It would probably be good. That may not come out as an accurate sided snowflake. I lost track. <laughs> oh. What? What? It had a little, not even bit. So okay. It work. You fixed it. Okay. I fixed it. Okay. It won't work. Is, is it just me who can't who can't do snowflakes like without you did preparation? You one more fold, and that oh. wasn't able to happen. Okay. You did one extra fold. If you did one extra fold, it would have an uneven bit. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want that. Okay. So this is going to go flat. Let's stick that down. These are going to pop. Oh, but I better stick them to each other. Okay, so I'll just tack this one onto there so that it'll be easy enough for me to get that photo replaced. But now I can see where it needs popping. All right. Elaine used to love it when the BBC filled a f with a five-minute Disney cartoon. ITV used Tom and Jerry. Amazing. Well, and I mean, I know it shows when I moved to this country, but we still had teletext in this country and not smartphones. Um, when I moved here, and I was like, how? How do you have this amazing technology? I've never seen anything like this. And of course, Teletext was not any uh, spring chicken at that point. Teletext had been around for a long time. And so they're like, what do you mean you don't have Teletext in America? I'm like, we don't. We really don't. And this is so cool. And everybody was just laughing at how dirty I was that I was so excited by Teletext. So Americans, if you don't know what Teletext is, because I didn't. And so they had this on the TV where you could go to a channel or press a special button on your remote or whatever it was, but it was a text screen of info, but it went on like there were so many things and you accessed it by page number. So it would be things like the lottery numbers would be on the same page number all the time. The weather report would be on the same page number. You could get the news headlines. You could get your horoscope. You could get all sorts of weird stuff, sports results. Um, but there was like, it, it just went on and on and on and on. And, and unless you knew the number of the page that you wanted to go to, you needed to, um, to wait for the menu bar to like tick across through all the various pages it might be. And you'd be like, oh, that's the one I want. And then you would type it in. Um, yeah, Teletext and CFAX. Yeah. Um, and Teletext had an advent calendar. Do you remember the Teletext advent calendar? Oh, that's like moving to England. That was, that was, yeah. Okay. And um, I really want to add more pink up here at the top, but I really don't want to smear the, the stenciling. So we're going to see what happens here. <laughs> I'm just going to try and do it. Just enough, just enough. And I could bring it over here, I suppose. Can I? <laughs> cool, I'll write these off. There we go. Do you remember at the beginning I was like, I use foundations because then I can get the background as wet as I want, but I haven't actually used any water to do this because the soft blending was, was lovely. Okay, title and stuff coming down here. Now I have all those title die cuts from this kit. And title stickers. So let's see what we got. Um, so stickers, and here's the title rubric. Okay, so we could do worn 
some wishes could work. I think that's the best one from here. If I want to do like a real Frozen reference, I'm going to have to spell it out because I don't have any Frozen quotes. Um, I kind of like this one that says, I just want to drink hot cocoa and watch Christmas movies. Is that relevant? Ooh, I've saved the right color enamel dots. That's a win. Okay, what do we got? This one. Okay. So I could make, oh, it's not really what I imagined though. It's too blocky. Okay, I'm gonna use letter stickers, sorry. Or I could use the warm wishes, but. Oh, that is actually, that's quite nice. Should we use the warm wishes? needs to go with this one. Okay, so option one, warm wishes. Oh, Elaine. No options. Warm hugs and do hugs and letter stickers. That's it. You're right. Thank you. I don't know why my brain didn't go there and I'm so glad yours did because yes. All right, this is gonna get tough underneath here. Oh. This part's gonna get tucked under here. <laughs> All right, warm. just get along. So let's see if I get a color that'll match in here. Ah, yes. Oh, hold on. That's half. <laughs> Is the other half in here? Let's find out. Oh, hold on. Is it what it is behind? Do you want to draw what you want? Or you just want me to cut what you've done there? Okay. Hands out of the way. The two pieces that I put in. Okay, hands out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Any more? Quickly. Mm -hmm. After I've opened this up, I want to figure out where it is. Mm -hmm. Can't spell. Right. Do you think that looks good? It's looking cool. Yeah. But when it does that, 
Yeah. It looks like it's a karate person. He's <laughs> He's got their leg in the air and they're like, pow! Wah. Oh, hey WB, while you're here, do you want to say thanks to Julie? Because she usually watches on the replay. Did she send you a super awesome Santa stop here yes. sign for our front door? And say Love thanks to that. Julie. Thank and a you, beautiful Julie. Christmas card. Thank you so much. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. So, I did kiss. Kiss, yeah. kiss. It's not stuck yet. <laughs> you should have stuck it. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. That's not kind. Mister. Okay. So then I need some smaller ones. Yep. Is your snowflake all done? Mm, I think it could be this. Super cool. Okay. Mm. I think I need... Should I make it just say warm hugs, or should I make it say we like warm hugs? Because Olaf says I like warm hugs. What do you think? We like warm hugs. We like warm hugs. So I think I need smaller little tile letters for that. Oh, I'm pulling out all the letters. But I do like a good, good variety of letter sticker. Yes, I do. Alright, what do we got? Some little tiles. Are we going properly old school? do black and white little tiles. I could do, I like those. Is that the right letter? Oh, no, W. What? Is there like part two of that? Hold on. Is there a part two? Too green, so white will work. Yep, I'll punch is there. Thank you. Something is stuck in the desk. This is making that funny noise. All right. So, oh, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could turn these pink. Make some packaging where I can get my just the letters I want. Oh, I hate this about this particular kind of sticker. The die cutting. Always go through both layers. Okay. Can you use your yep. super strongs to get it in? My super strongs. Super strongs. Done. We come on. Don't like it when stickers split. Not my favorite. Smiling's my favorite. Yes, yeah, smiling is your favorite. Mm. Bye. Let's pull the sheets split. Okay. All right. 
fly to Pink Timbuktu. We blew pink ink on top of white letters to be just the color you want on your page. Um, here we go. Elaine <laughs> says I need to staple my part twos. Oh, all right. Okay, we like warm ups. We like pink letters. Okay. Charlie's gonna go across here. I better stick that down before I get ground on it. And I didn't use it at all. Okay, so I'll just keep that for a different page. Whoops. Okay. Oh, have I got enough of this? I think I do. Can do a big snowflake out of snowflakes. Who says no to that? Nobody should say no to that. Then. Small. No, you just want me to cut one end of the string. Cut it and tie it. Because I tried to tie a knot, it keeps. Your knot didn't work with thread. Thread's a bit funny. I know. A knot up here so that it's got a big long loop. Um, that's okay. Hi there. There you go. Okay, I'm going to make a small one now. Do I want to bring in that green? I'm going to try it. of the same three patterns that I did this big one, and that's this one. I need to put it somewhere. Oh. Something. Okay, well, there's a hook on the front door. We put it inside the front door. Um, Elena, I'm so glad you could make it then. Elena's worried about not being this calm the rest of the day. I'm glad you could have some calm with us. Try and channel it. When you need it. Nothing wrong with taking a break at Christmas. Nothing wrong with saying no at Christmas. Do not allow yourself to be, you know, pushed down any sort of track you don't want to be. And you know that you would give that advice to anybody else. So don't do it yourself either. May Christmas be a festivity where you follow your own advice. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, let's put some snowflakes on stuff. So I want a snowflake in the middle of there, but I don't want it to be that one. It needs to be this one. Then this one goes here. This is hot pink. This one goes green, goes in all three spots. That means this one comes up here. Okay. Sarah's love 
for this page. Thank you, thank you. Right. Snowflakes are always better with Papios. So let's do some of that. This nothing stuck down here yet. Hold on. Oh no, that is okay. That's better. Move that up a little bit so that you can read the tree farm bit. of three. And then this one here actually. So you can put one of these back there. Mm -hmm. I want them to be a little triangle in case you hadn't guessed. <laughs> I do love a triangle. Triangle man, triangle man. Journaling is going to be going across here, remember? Yeah. This one actually, I didn't want them to run into each other, so moving it down a little bit. Okay, up here, stuck, stuck. Okay, so that's all of the stuff. Let's go to enamel dots. Enamel dots in the middle or separate? Oh, I've got cute little hearts in the middle, so separate. Okay. Yeah, I know I want a little grouping here. That. Do a grouping down here. Maybe like that. Yeah. Only got three left. So I feel like they should go somewhere. Yeah. That's nice. Let's do some stamps, some splatters. here and um, I want to add a couple other black ink details so that this doesn't feel out of place. So I'm going to take some little scribbles and confetti and things like that. So let's do this little squiggle. With just some good old black dye ink. Away, hashtag organized. Yeah. And down here. Oh, I just got a surprise hug. 
Betty Dot. Not black and white for that. That's going to be with Tumble Gloss. So obvious because it's over the top, but yeah, you can see it a little bit. Okay, and give me the pink. Oh, Ginny's off to start making cinnamon rolls. That sounds delish. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, or I could do the love. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do just the one with the blood, and then I'm going to do the other two with a little heart. Does not have as well a heart. because I've got silver foil paper, but I've got some other colors that can work here. So I've got white, that one, and this is in my bucket. I miss her in a bucket. It's the bucket I used to stand on. the look of that but are terrified of writing straight onto that background make some lines use a journaling line stamp um, use a ruler and pencil in the lines use a ruler and draw in um, actual inch lines it's all good By the way, I really like white mist on top of the white paper, so I know that might seem like I'm losing the plot, but I really like it. White mist on top of white paper. Uh huh. You would. I'm weird. It's not that the first time it's been said, and something tells me it will not be the last. Right. But I do quite like that. Okay. Do you want to be in my thumbnail with me today? Yeah. Okay. Oh, should I have a thumbnail? <laughs> it's got blue tack on his thumb. So, right. But it looks like a nail. <laughs> so it's... Ah, ah, what am I doing? A thumbnail. Look at the camera, not the laptop. Yay! You had, it looks like you had things in your eyes. Oh, because okay. Because the ring light was reflecting. 
There we go. So I'm going to journal across there, and then I'll be all done. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today, and my little elf. Um, and, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lane is glad I have uh, converted to white backgrounds. They are still something that um, I find more challenging, but I'm up to the challenge. I'm up to the challenge. Only when it's acceptable for me to put a whole bunch of color and pattern into it somehow. <laughs> um, so thank you for joining me. I will not be live on Monday because um, we will still be doing Christmassy family stuff. At grandparents. But next Friday, I will indeed um, be back around and we, um, yeah, I'll see you then. Is that all right? January quit? No, nope, January kit will be just after that because I believe New Year is on Saturday. So it would be the following Monday when we have the, the new kit live, I think. Don't don't quote me on that if I have to schedule things around. But I think that's it. All right. If you enjoy this layout, I would really, really appreciate your thumbs up on the video. It helps so much in all of this stuff um, working out. And it, the thing that is, is super awesome um, is if you have a friend or, you know, you have scrappy online friends or something and you think that they would enjoy watching too, is to let them know that I do this so that they can come subscribe too. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And I would love to have you join me live or from the replay. Say hello, whatever you like. But all those things help and are wonderful and I really, really appreciate you. I hope that all of you have a wonderful holiday um celebration a wonderful christmas weekend and beyond enjoy all 12 days of christmas if you can um, and i really 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 thank you for all your support this year and i will see you again soon bye i have this way i made a lot of food